In this class, we are going to learn how to submit a ESS job request from integration. Before building an integration, let me show you what ESS job we are going to submit with the help of integration. I am here in the Oracle Fusion instance. Under Manage Enterprise Scheduler Job Definitions, I am going to select this Supply Chain Management as I am going to invoke or run a ESS job under SCM applications. Click on this. And the same will hold true if you are trying to submit a job request, ESS job request for CRM or HCM applications as well. Here I am going to consider the ESS job that is get site use code report. This is the custom ESS job which we had created in our previous class. That is this ESS job is used to schedule a BIP report. That BIP report will burst a file or the BIP report to FTP server. To know more on how to create this custom ESS job, please check out our previous class. Now I will select this and click on edit. In order to submit any ESS job with the help of web service that is ERP integration service or with the help of integration, we need two things. One is a job package name. Job package name is nothing but it is the path and the job definition name is nothing but it is this ESS job definition name. And if there is any parameters, we need to supply those parameter values at runtime when we schedule any ESS job. Now let's switch over to integration instance and build integration. In order to save some time, I have already built this integration that is test submit ESS job. Let me open this. This is a very simple integration. First I will show you I have created few integration properties in order to pass the values dynamically at runtime. First integration property I have created is to get the definition name. I have provided here the ESS definition name that is this one. And next is the ESS job package name. It is nothing but the path. Here I have provided twice this custom up to custom path. That is because in your case if you have provided the path like test slash custom. Like this test slash and the custom. Providing this package name if it doesn't work what you do it you have to concatenate this with standard oracle apps ESS job path then your submit ESS job request will be succeeded. In few of the instances, you might get an issue saying ESS job not found or unauthorized. This will happen only in case if you have created a custom ESS job. In all other seeded ESS jobs, you won't find this issue. We can directly provide the path of seeded jobs. What we see over here under paths under job package name. I'm closing this. And the first thing we need to create is Oracle Cloud ERP connection. In detail, we had covered how to create Oracle ERP Cloud connection in our previous classes. Please check out our previous classes to know more. Let me open the invocation wizard over here. While creating any invocation for a connection, we have to give the name. I have here provided the invocation name for a connection. Click on next. Here under what would you like to do with Oracle ERP cloud adapter, I have selected query, create, update or delete information. So we have to select this option. Click on next. Here we have to select browse by services. Under that we have to select the ERP integration service. And under that we have to select the operation that is submit ESS job request. Click on next and done. Now let me open the mapper. First thing we need to pass is the job package name as I already discussed what I have mapped in package name the package name value what we have stored in the properties I am passing it over here so under properties as I shown I have created a separate property for package name and the definition name and we have to pass the job definition name over here and the parameter list in our case there is one parameter wherein we send the site use code I have hot coded here the site use code build underscore 2 in your case you can dynamically get this with the help of properties or you can have a lookup or any other service to store these properties or the parameters. Click on close. So once you invoke this submit ESS job request, it will submit a ESS job on your behalf with the help of ERP integration service. Next thing is we have to wait until that job completes. So this while condition will check whether the status got succeeded, validation failed, error. These are the standard statuses for any ESS job. I have added it over here. And the one thing is I have provided a loop. This is a property loop count. I have set it to 5 and this loop when it exceeds this count what I have stored in the properties this while loop will exit. 
and ess job weight count param this is the property value and the loop count is the counter which will get incremented every time this loop will run this is because in every loop i am waiting for two minutes it will wait for two minutes and then it will try to check the status of ess job which we had submitted earlier suppose if the job is still running then it will again go to this while loop increment the counter then again it will come over here and it will again wait for few minutes and if it finds if it got succeeded or errored or anything happened failed or any other cases which we are checking it over here then it will exit the loop and it will continue ahead now in order to check the ess job status again we are making use of oracle erp cloud connection over here let me open the wizard I have provided the name that is get ESS job status invoke. Click on next. Here, what would you like to do with the Oracle ERP cloud adapter? I have selected again this query create update or delete information option. Click on next. Here we need to select browse by services. Select a service. I have selected ERP integration service. Under this service, we need to select get ESS job status operation. Click on next and done. And in the mapper, we need to pass the ESS job process ID what we get in previous invocation that we have to pass in the request ID. So this process ID we will get in the response of submit ESS job request that which we had already done in our previous step that is custom details BIP run ESS job invocation. So there will be one parameter in the response that is result we are mapping it to request ID. The response what we get from here is a process ID which will map here in the request ID. Based on that, it will check the status of that ESS job and it will loop and wait and check the status. At the end, we can download the logs of that ESS job. This is optional. Click on view over here. Here, I have selected again the query create update or delete information. Again, this is a Oracle ERP cloud connection. Click on next. Here, we have to select browse by services, ERP integration service. But this time, we have to select download ESS job execution details. Click on next and done. In the mapper, again, we need to pass the process ID of the ESS job to download all the execution logs of that ESS job process. Again, we are mapping the process ID what we get in the submit ESS job invocation under results to request ID. So based on this, it will fetch the logs and we can write it to FTP server or we can send it as an attachment email or we can push it to any other location as we get the file in binary format. Now here, in case if the status is not succeeded, then we will try to throw an error. It will throw this error to scope fault handler or it might go to global fault handler as per our fault handling policies. Here at the high level, we can give some message what went wrong. Now, if you see the response of download ESS job execution detail response, you will get under result the content. This will be in binary. You can write this content to any file with the help of OPEX schema. You will get the file name, content type and the other details related to file. Accordingly, we can archive this data. Click on close. That's it with this integration. This integration is very simple. It will get the definition name, package name. It will submit a ESS job request over here. Then it will wait until this job completes and it will check for the status of completion then it will download the logs and then we can archive it in any location as per our business use case now we'll test this integration as this is a scheduled integration i am submitting a ad hoc request submit now ad hoc request i am here in the monitoring console for integrations as we could see our integration is running and it has submitted a ESS job. Now let's switch over to Fusion instance and check whether it has submitted a ESS job request. As you could see, it has submitted a ESS job request and it got succeeded. This is the ESS process ID which is available in Fusion. If you scroll down, you can see more details for that ESS job. It has generated a file if we expand. Also this, as I told, this ESS job will burst a vip report to ftp and it has bursted and also we can check what is the parameter we had supplied from integration we had supplied build underscore this we had hard coded in our mapping same is visible over here first of all we'll go to ftp server and check whether it has uploaded a file to slash upload slash test slash outbound 
as you could see it has busted a file it over here that is built to and followed by a name to know more how this custom ess job schedules a bip report and how that bip report bursts this file into ftp server you please check out our previous class to know more now we'll switch over to integration and check from the monitoring if it has completed or not as you could see our integration status is also marked as succeeded let me click on the view button over here let me scroll down and expand this message received from BIP submit request invocation. As you can see, the ESS job process ID is 1797255. Let's now verify it over here. As you could see, the process ID is 1797255. It's matching. Once it submits a request, it will wait for a couple of minutes and it will try to check the status. Now let's check what was the status from here. The status was succeeded now let's verify from our console yeah the status is succeeded next thing is it will make a call to download ess job here we'll pass the process id that is this one 1797255 in order to download ess logs as i told under contents we are having a binary file data it is nothing but this one it is it will download the same if we write that file to any location like FTP server or object storage in OCI. So like this with the help of integration we can submit ESS job request and we can even schedule this ESS job with the help of integration to run at predefined intervals.